In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create, analyze, and validate a target market in Sims 4. Begin by logging into Amos and navigating to the Program Profiles section under your organization. To launch Sims 4, click on the link next to the program profile of your choice. The link will launch the Sims application corresponding to the selected program profile. In this case, I've selected the BEA program. In the Sims application, you should see the list of selections associated with your Amos organization. To create a new selection, first zoom to the geographic area of interest using the map controls. Click and drag in the map to pan and use your mouse wheel or the buttons in the upper right corner to zoom in and out. Once you've navigated to your area of interest, click the New Selection button at the bottom of the panel on the left. Click on the Selection Layers icon on the left side of the maps to choose which layers you want to select. Note that only visible layers will be selected. To toggle visibility for additional layers, click on the Layers tab at the top of the panel on the left. While in the Selections tab, click and drag around the area of your target market to add geographies to your selection. Any geographies that intersect will be added to the selection. To remove geographies from your selection, click on the Selection Type icon on the left side of the map and choose Subtract. Then drag a new area through the geographies you want to remove. You can also use the replace method to make a new selection. Once your selection is complete, give it a name by clicking on the pencil icon at the top of the panel on the left. Enter a name and click Rename. Finally, save your selection by clicking on the Save button at the bottom of the panel on the left. To analyze your selection, Click on the three vertical dots next to the name in the list of saved selections. Choose the validation action corresponding to the data layer you've selected in your map. My selection is in the 2015 BEA census tract layer, so I'm going to choose the validate 2015 distress community action. The analysis will be performed in a new tab. This may take a few minutes. When the analysis is finished, a report will display the results. It will also include a table and a map of the selected geographies. The map is interactive, so you can pan and zoom to adjust the extent and click on individual features to view the FIPS code. Finally, if you're satisfied with your report, Click the Print Report button to print the page or export it to PDF.